They can double block Talia. Plaza is okay, but we might prefer to cycle it. Yes, give me this live game. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today deck that is absolutely top tier meta. So if you care about winning, this is the deck for you because this stands at 65% win rate right now. It's like on par with soldier decks, so it's basically the second big deck I would say. And it has insane raw power. So if you want, you know, to invest into all of those legendaries because every single creature except, you know, this one card is the only non-rare or non-mythic. Other than this, your wallet will hurt. <laughs> it includes lands as well. So this is an extremely expensive deck to craft, but if you have it, it's absolutely strong and it has so many options, so many decisions. It's really good deck, especially if you want to, you know, master one of the decks. This one will get better and better as long as you play it right. So. Uh, we are doing this deck because I've been trying different one and it turned out really really bad and I lost all of the games with it so we do ranked heavily and instead I decided to scrap that one and give you the solid one that will rank you up very quickly. So uh, I don't think we'll talk about all the interactions, you know how it works, the only big one is like you know shoulder traffic, it can stabilize you on its own and don't forget that end step air tie not only kills something or counters something but is also very good fuel for the raffin so we can start ramping and you know and always play Talia on turn two, that's pretty much it. Ao is extremely strong card for this one because you can hit multiple of two drops at the end step after you lose your creature and that usually is enough to overrun your opponent. So this is the deck, I hope you will like it, I'm confident that you can rank up very nicely with this one, it's probably one of the easier decks to do it except soldiers and if you appreciate, you know, I don't know, if you appreciate anything, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> I, 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 my, my head is black. I'm so, I'm in such a hurry to just make this video because I'm late and like I don't have time to even, you know, do the thing. All right, we are cutting my rambling into the games. All right, we are going first, but this is, this is definitely not what we expected. We only have Jadar, basically. We need to draw the rest. I think this should be a Mulligan. But you know what? Given we are on the play, I think we cannot go even lower on cards and I think at the 4 drop will be much faster than usually be, given we are on the play and as you can see we can start going into good cards now this is mono black they might have removal so we are playing with Talia first and then we follow up with Jadar it's basically nearly the same damage nearly but if they have removal uh, it's just much more awkward for them and cut down doesn't kill anything at the end step, so you know. I think we hit something. So we attack first. Just to see the reaction. And now it's Jadar. And one of the cards might die to cut down. But I'm not sure. Yeah, he, he definitely has something. And I think it's only uh, possible for cut down to be. Yeah. Alright, alright. But Talia is still here. I'm interested about this choice. It means that now he has also removal probably. And I think we'll just try to push the damage with Ertai. We need one more run. That's absolutely important that we hit it. This is our game plan. So I want to slow him down as much as possible. So I'm trying to tax him multiple times for the same effect basically. So I expect two mana removal at the end step. He didn't go for it for some reason. That's weird. I, I love to see it, but it's still weird. And I would love him to play some four mana thing. All right. This is, this is something. This kind of dies to Talia. So I will, I think I will play the Ertai, right? We don't have enough pressure right now. So let's just force him, force to use, uh, you know, the cut down or whatever he has. He will get a card, but hopefully, hopefully we get the fifth land for the AO. And you know, this is something that has to die sooner or later. Another cut down. So he indeed had cut down into cut down. That's, that's really good for the start of the game. Alright, but... And that's why we wanted the Erta in the battlefield suddenly. 
just like this we are starting to do the cycling thing and given we are at this point i think i will go for the harbin this is just so much more powerful and we we are really slow for this kind of deck all right so raffin will die right now i guess okay that's interesting choice you probably you generally want to kill raffin first okay that makes sense that makes sense so Enough this should be Adeline? No, it should be AO if we, if we will be able to. And we will. Finally. It took a while, <laughs> especially that we started with two of them. But it's definitely it's definitely here right now. And they will push a lot of tempo and a lot of damage somehow. Uh, this is unfortunate, but it will be Adeline. She's lower value than the AO, of course, by far. And he also needed to discard, so it's not, you know, all roses. Alright. I hope it will be minus two. Because then we can kill the other Liliana. That's perfect. We are getting full value. But he has no way of knowing that our next thing... Oh my god. Oh my god. So, sure, that is great. Adeline is more messy. You know? She's more annoying. But we'll still go for Shardad, because it's Shardad. It's it's hard to kill. And Adeline might die to something like Cutdown, you know? Oh, drawing cards, not really what you want to see. Uh, as my opponent, of course. I still will go for Liliana, I think. Because his removal is very likely to, you know, not work. And he needs to draw it. And it will be so hard to defeat both of those huge creatures. So I think it's much safer to just get rid of Liliana. Okay, that's a, a mirror short bet. That's a, that's a really bad draw. Alright, how we do it? We can hit him for 5 if we attack with both his force to trade, right? But in all honesty, uh, it's more important... Nah, we can, we can do it like this. No, he wants to draw with the Bangbuster, but it, okay, it will be the same. I'm a dummy. Uh, he can block, of course, by crewing, but he doesn't trade them. Alright. So, uh, I guess we leave this card. He might have another Liliana and be tempted to just play Liliana and plus one, but of course he probably won't. So, he's at four damage. He dies to Ao. Now, he needs to draw a removal hit removal on AO and pray that we don't hit something that deals for damage. <laughs> so I think we should be fine, especially that he wasted half of his mana on the draw. So he should explode in a moment now. All right. Maybe he has something. Maybe he has something. Let's go like this. For starters, because that will force him to play something if it's three mana cost. All right. I mean, I will attack you. Go for the throat. Alright. So that's exactly the mana that he needed. Alright, so it will be Danik and Harbin. This is basically the perfect, because if, even if he kills all of this, uh, we can repay the Danik from the graveyard. So he needs to deal with three, three creatures right now, with two cards and six mana. He can go up to, up to a bit more. Alright, that's a good one. This keeps him alive, right? This is definitely a cycling. All right, let's see what what we get. Can can I stop drawing lands? I think I drew three lands in a row, and that's definitely something that puts us behind. And this is basically the only attack we can make right now. A bit unfortunate. We could also attack with Denning and try to play the other side, but I don't think that's a great idea. I prefer to force him to do something. But right now he's recovering because of our bad top decks. Like all we needed is, you know, short that from the top and he's dead. But right now he definitely has some outs. Also every Raffin would kill him directly. Uh, I mean, we can just counter attack. All right, you got it. Uh, I'm not super sure, but double blocking can be a disaster if he has any removal, and he needs removal just to not die, right? Or well, definitely his draws are much better. He draws with the Bangbuster, to be fair, but all right, finally, finally. So.
So if he doesn't have removal, he dies already. We are definitely playing Rafin. That's all right. It can be Bangbuster. Let's see. All right. So he didn't have this was not a removal because then he would remove the creature we put counter on. So we start with this one just to you know eliminate some of the bad tap lands early game. We might draw something that's not a Ganjo, you know. All right, and we are against Mono Red. This will be painful. This will definitely be pretty darn painful. Maybe we want to use Plaza, right? All right, we can just get any mana. So I think it can be better. Let's go for Talia because she makes it so much harder to use play with fire, things like this. It, it just slows them down. At some point it will negate one of their creatures, like tempo-wise, of course. Okay, this is definitely something we can live with. All right. Okay, so far so good. And I really want to preserve the Seganjo because I think it can be extremely important. Okay, let's actually think. I think this will be Rafin. It means we want to attack with Talia. We get some extra damage for this reason. It's not the best in all honesty. It's not the best, especially that this is the turn when Kumano flips, so we really want Talia on board. Like def defensive. Lee. Uh, if we go for black, this can be white. I don't think we will go for Takenuma. Let's go like this, because if we play next and shorted with all of those creatures and then we attack, we draw so much life gain. That's a weird sentence, but that's how it works. And our opponent cannot cast anything because there is no zero mana red spells. You know, at least not the ones that we care for and in this format. Alright. So, yeah, if, if I attack with Talia, I get the cycling. She will be treated. The problem is that she still dies to play with fire, so I don't really gain much. I don't really gain much. And whatever is big, we can just use a Ganjo later. Sure, that is the big deal. So we need to force him to start playing bigger things into the board. It's still scary. So right now he's thinking so long because he can cycle any of the cards in his la in, in his hand for something that is possibly better, and that's a big choice. If he doesn't use this, he might not have opportunity later because everything will be perfectly on curve, on curve, on curve, and he's never left, left with one mana to cycle, and that can bite him in like two next turns, for example. So he needs to think about it right now, or he just is AFK, and I'm explaining all of this for nothing. <laughs> It's also a possibility that seems to be more and more likely right now. No? Okay. See? He highlighted. So I think he was thinking on this play. In all honesty, this is really hard decision to make. Because, like, you need to think about the next returns of the gameplay. So, you know. And this might be all she wrote. Like, this is actually really strong right now. Uh, let's make sure the mana is right. All right, do, to colorless. This is short red. All right, so we attack with everything for sure. Uh, what is the creature that we pump? Rafin won't really die anyway, right? Four three. That will still die to lightning bolt. So I guess we go for Rafin. They can double block Talia, but I'm kind of fine with it. I, I want my stuff, you know? Sure, that is definitely not going down. Plaza is okay, but we might prefer to cycle it. Yes, give me this live game. So I wonder, I think he should double block Talia in all honesty. It's a decent trade for him and his lightning board, so he already gets some tempo. He can use two mana and then he has two left. Uh, if he doesn't double block Talia, he's left with one mana with tax, so he cannot really play anything. So I think that's... I wouldn't make the same choice, but he knows what the cards are, so maybe maybe that's what changed his mind. But playing Lightning Bolt as the full turn against Shorded Rafin, I mean, this doesn't seem like a best play. Also, we can cycle Rafin Tower just to get, you know, extra card. That's pretty nice. 
and yeah, he starts to feel the pain. And thanks to having a backup shoulder, we are so much calmer against you know blocking with shoulder and getting burned with with the stuff. So he wants to threaten it. In all honesty, it's just for damage. We do not care. Even though I I don't mind the straight, yeah, he he knows that he cannot double burn shoulder, so he cannot beat the first one, and we already had the second one. All right, we are going first. That's absolutely perfect. This is a pretty slow hand. This is a really slow hand, but I will keep it. I think. I'm not sure about this choice. We are starting with this one because the blue land is the only untapped one we have in case we hit a two drop. This is too much. I don't want this land anymore. So I guess we can play like this. I guess we don't fake make this appear, but if we're getting through that, Otawara might be a spell that really, you know, really matters. Like Marsha. Alright, so Naturalist. Definitely a brutal one. All right, we need to do something really strong this turn. Yeah, I think Tolus is okay. They have exile effects, but it means it's three mana or less. Hmm. So that will be, that will be hard. We will play the land. Crazy, I know. <laughs> uh, we won't get this card, will we? I want to protect Rafin, it's a really important card. And this cycles something anyway. So, you know, we can get rid of some of this fruit at least. Even if this dies, we cycle the card at least. So we get a little bit of value. I think Artai Resurrected might be the next turn play. Just to get rid of Naturalis is absolutely scary for me. The amount of spells he can cast right now, he can basically cast three cards if his hand is good enough. So that's a big thing. Also, it can buff this to 3-3 easily, or even 4-4 if he has correct cards and already start attacking with lifing. So his board might be much bigger than ours after this turn. Let's see, it all depends on the cards that he has. He has what, seven cards. He didn't play land for the turn. I remember when playing enchantment, it was so often that you get mana screwed at some point. Uh, and also color screwed because you need good ratio of white and green in the hand because everything is one mana, man, one colored mana. So if you have like two, you know, those enchantment guys, oh, he wants to trade? Yes, 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 please. That's absolutely perfect. That's a weird play. That's such a weird play. I guess he was super scared about the the card that we had. But I was scared about his cards. So he wants to get it back, right? But we can just kill it with uh, Ertai. We can also bounce it, but I don't think it's great. So the plan is that we actually should put the stop. Because it, this needs to resolve. And I need to kill it before the main phase, so he cannot benefit from it at any point. He will draw a card. Alright, so this is not... Right? I thought I can answer it in some way. Oh man, that's lame. That's lame because right now we cannot use Ertai for this effect. Maybe or maybe we should cast Ertai just for the restoration. I usually don't fear restorations, but maybe I should. I mean, at this point, I would just trade with everything, to be honest. <laughs> I think I messed up. I think I messed up a little bit. Uh, let's counter spell. I thought I have a moment before he is able to, you know, go with the next thing, but apparently not. That's a pretty big deal. Plaza of Heroes. Definitely, I would like some heroes. And you know what? I think we need to start going with Rafin. Also, it means that the Ganjo will be activated quite easily. We can even use Otawara, which is sweet. It also will slow him down quite a lot. Yeah, I think this is the play. Like, the the legendary lands are, I think. Oh, all of them are really nice. Erta is something I think we need. To just keep up pushing the tempo and the damage. Adeline is amazing. Adeline is amazing. She, she gives so much more stuff. 
but I think we need to put it slow. Oh, that hurts. That actually hurts in my heart. Alright, so let's do the thing again that we cannot do, <laughs> I guess. Alright. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Because he triggers it wrong. He triggers it wrong. It means that we have a moment that we can answer. So what he will take? Probably adversary. Let's see how much he pays. Also, we can use a Ganjo uh, to whatever he blocks and Ertai. So we can actually double cast it next turn. So we have two removal. We need to out-tempo him. We need to save Rafin and just push enough damage while defending and killing all the creatures. So we are at zero cards and he's at zero HP and with seven cards or something like this. That's the play. He needs to think hard. I think it would really help him if he got the adversary because it's basically a free spell and it's a lifelinker as well. Alright. So this resolves. Let's see how much mana he pumps. That's really important. If he pumps too much mana, I'm actually doing something about it. Alright, so he put two. I think he will attack, right? Nah, I, I don't think we, we should risk it. That's really interesting game. I know it's a lot of triggers, but we have so many options that we can go for. I think I will go Otawara Naturalist. Then he needs to replay it, right? And then he has quite a lot of stuff still. Alright, so maybe let's give him the chance to play stuff. And let's see at the end step what we want to bounce. If he attacks with Naturalis, that would be so perfect because I can remove it. I can remove it. That would be perfect. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted from him. Now this one is dead. He doesn't get discount for the next turn. Nice. Alright, that was really nice. We don't want to play air type. However, we can just go like this. All right, so we will get the token. We can uh, bounce this or this. What is the choice? What is better? We need to go super aggressive. The token will die, right? But airtime might survive. What an interesting game so far. So many decisions. Huh, I'm thinking about this because brown bouncing gives them quite a lot of value. And they have so many 2-drops that I don't like chapter 2 at all. We definitely create a token first. And then we can plus 3, plus 3 if we hit right. So it should be Ertai. No. Okay, that's way too, ma too many lands. We need at least 2. We need at least two, so this is the discard. Uh, not super happy about the results, but it's something. Do I want to to bounce this one and just deal eight damage? Nah, we, we just sacrifice the token, it's fine. We'll have other line. I want to have some interaction for the end step of the next turn. Maybe I should have played this land, but we have only Ayo as an expensive card, so we might want to cycle it. I, I guess we won't have to cycle it, so I probably should have played the Rafin Tower, just in case we draw something. Alright, so we can do a lot of stuff, and whatever he, ha he will choose for blocking might not go there, so he's under a lot of pressure. So far he did not have any kind of removal, and if he uses borrowed time for something, uh, we might just bounce it at that step. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So this can have 4 toughness, but we cannot have 4 attack on our line, right? Do we block? If we bounce the adversary we can do it, but he can replay it and just get more lifelink. 
I think we have to do it like this. This way we get rid of the lifelinker forever. Yeah, I think that's okay. It's not perfect, but we need to start putting counters on Rafin probably. And we might use a tower at the end step just to slow him down. Well, this is definitely really bad for us. Okay, this this might be the game deciding move because it's also lifelinker as as well. Yeah, and double lifelinker. And if we ban specialist, he still gets the second effect and there's nothing we can do about it. Well, this one was really bad. My Katawara doesn't really accomplish too much, in all honesty, in this situation after this play. But I guess it adds a little bit into our attacks and it also forces him to play it again. Alright, this is definitely not the draw we wanted. I mean, let's keep attacking then. 6-5, so he can put this and double counter. I think we need to go by air now. So th those will be the cards for sure. We pump just a little bit, not a big difference, but something. And if he goes too hard, we can always think about using plaza, but probably not the case. Probably not worth it to choose the block. I guess, I, I guess he takes it. Sounds cool. So now AO and now in the air, so he can rifling back to 10 but we can already kill him if we draw correct. That's a big deal, right? That's weird. So I guess our opponent just is not here. So what we will do, you know, even in those situations, he can wake up any moment. So we are playing geeks, I think. Yeah, because then we can draw some cards and it's also attacker for the next turn. And we can play the land. So we attack with everything. It's not... Okay, it, I guess it's end, right? If we don't attack with this one. So let's go like this. Let's pump the Raffin because of the ward. He's harder to hit. We hit two spells, but to be honest, I will go like this. I don't think one damage would matter. Like, it's weird end to this game, but we made a situation that we can kill him in, you know, one go, I guess. But that was extremely close. I think he has like 65-70% to win. I think that's a fair assumption. I guess more because of the cards, so maybe even a bit higher. Alright, our opponent goes first. We have really weird draw. It's pretty slow, but we can get to Ayo and whatever we draw can help us. What is our opponent? Seems to be control player. Mr. Scrooge, yeah, it, it should be control. <laughs> <laughs> would make sense. So it's not really great, but I hope we draw Rafin and then everything will be fine. Okay, that's that's a pretty decent draw. So I guess we cast Danik instead of the thingy. Or, all right. So mono white control, I would guess. So let's prevent the restoration of a Ganja on the next turn, because. When you play only planes, usually that's what you do. Oh, it might be just a very bad draw for the for the soldier deck, and I guess it is. All right, that changes few things. That definitely changes few things. Let's go with Plaza because it's best uh, land right now, and we definitely want to play Ashnot, the Flesh Mechanist. Which one we prefer? I guess Danik because if we draw Rafin, it's a bit better. Why are you tapping like this, my friend? Are you serious? Alright. I think this is decent. It also has death touch, so it will make things awkward. But this is definitely an extremely powerful card. We need to get 5 mana into AO. Oh my god. That's... His early game was slow, but right now it's really strong. Alright. So I guess it's not at all control. Right, this this is a candidate for cycling right now. I should probably read the card. Attacks you may sacrifice power stone token, we don't care. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. 
Okay, so we can use a bit of a filler. I guess it has to be Jadar. It's not great. It's absolutely not great. It's on par with cycling, to be honest. But we want to play something every turn, so Qatar doesn't start flipping. If he wants to flip it, he needs to waste at least part of his turn, but he can still use the recruitment of... I guess he can just get another one. <laughs> Easy as that. On the bright side, it's hard to attack into death touch, so that's something, but we are falling absolutely behind and we are having a lot of runs. We didn't hit Rafin, unfortunately, so we cannot pump our creatures at all. Ayo, Ayo, you need to carry us so hard, it's not even funny, but this card is definitely a big deal right now. And we need to find something to cast next turn, because if those Brutal Qatars flip, there's no hope. Alright, Reconstruction, that would be brutal as well. Alright, that's, that's quite a lot of stuff for 6 mana. Oh boy, that's really huge spike power. I'm not sure if we can make it. I don't think we, ha we can make it with this draw. This draw was absolutely awful. We are really overdrawing plants so hard. Alright, this is exactly the card we needed full game. Alright, so I don't care even if he has the lifelink, but he doesn't. Death touch. Death touch is really important for defending. So it will just be this. You know, we will of course target Dayo. And we will try to make it work. Do we want another Ayo? There are no, not enough soldiers, so this won't make a big deal. Next turn we have a play then. Might not be correct decision. But we have plays with this. We can also play second Ayo, choose the new one, and then the old one will buff the new one. So that's actually a really big deal. We get the zombie, but yeah. Yeah, I think the second Ayo can be good. He definitely wants to kill us as soon as possible, and he has the way to do it, honestly. <laughs> His power is way bigger thanks to all the Qatars. Are we dead? Alright. Let's do the thingy. I will try to go for, not for the maximum and see how much goes through. 4, 8, 12. This is acceptable. Do I want Danik? Danik can be nice. Or I can just trade I Okay, 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 okay. Maybe just trading I is straight up better. And then we can get rid. Oh, he gets the soldiers. We definitely need to get rid of the veteran. But he can pump, pump creatures into it next turn. So, okay, like this. Alright, I think this can be okay. It's a hard choice. It's a hard choice. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, it's also the Emperor on top of all of this crap? I mean, that's not great. I, let's say I could imagine this going better than it did. <laughs> like, I have good imagination. So we can put some counters because of the first strike and that will maybe change some trades. Not really, only one. So we are taking some dudes from the graveyards. Airtai resurrected. Okay. That's definitely a card that, that will matter. We can destroy some stuff for free. So I guess we want to get rid of this Siege Veteran. Because then he gets less Soldier Tokens from... Wood. Oh my god, stop with the crap, bro! <laughs> oh my god, it's so much stuff! Just just stop it. Just get get some, you know... I don't want to be mean, but I kind of want to be mean right now. <laughs> Alright, so what is the play? We definitely go like this. We should attack with Danik and probably this. This is the highest value we can get, but we just lose Danik, right? And we die next turn, whatever we do. We can trade Ayo to this. 
and then we can block this and this. This is seven damage and some more. Yeah, we die. That was a good game. I think we had too slow of a start, in all honesty. And we just we just need a traffin.